It's time to lift big under the lights. We are inside the Coliseum here at the Alliant Energy Center for CrossFit's Home Run Derby, and the heavy barbells are out on the floor. Thanks for being with us, everybody, for test number nine as we close out the third day of competition for the individuals here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. I'm Sean Woodland with Stacey Tovar, and our favorite weightlifting coach, Coach B, Mike Bergener, is here. I, the energy is infectious. I can just feel it coming. I know you love this. What's so great about this for you? Well, I'm really fired up because the snatch and clean and jerk are great tests. And the fact that we're putting them together at one arena together so everybody can see it just fires me up. I love it. You've been in this community for a while, and I, I know you have seen a lot of progress in the weightlifting prowess of some of these athletes. What the, what's the biggest difference that you've seen over that time? Well, not all of the athletes are strong. We know the athletes are strong, but the technique that they're using now is spot on. Yeah, outstanding. We have two different lifts that we will be testing here in this Olympic total. You're gonna do a max snatch and a max clean, and you only get two attempts here. That changes things up a little bit. It certainly does. And but only two attempts for a total weight. What's your recipe for success here, knowing that there's only two attempts? Snatch what you can, and clean and jerk what you must. Well, let's send it down to Nikki Brazier, who's on the competition floor. Well, this is the fourth time in CrossFit Games history that we are under the lights in the Coliseum, maxing out Olympic lifts, and it is a crowd favorite across the board. For the spectators in the audience, it creates an unbelievable vibe down here on the competition floor. And for the athletes, well, that energy sometimes helps them push for a brand new PR. We have two total heats here in test number nine, women out. First 15 women will be on the floor. And Olivia Kerstetter will be lifting on platform Number seven, she's the youngest athlete in the field at 17 years old and currently sits in 21st place overall. Needs to get into the top 20 to survive the final cut. Yeah, you said it best, Sean. One spot out from the top 20. She's young, she's strong, and she needs to be in this test number nine. So Alexia Williams is up first, 175 pounds on the barbell, and that will count. We will have a 20-second window One, to lift. And now we move to Christy Colenbrander, who has 201 pounds on the barbell. That is good for Colenbrander. About 91 kilos for her. And that moves us to Abigail Dolan at 196. 88 kilos for Abigail. Up next, Amanda Barnhart, 182 pounds. Nice lift. She moved that awfully quick, didn't yeah, she? She did very quickly. Nicely done. 82 kilos for her. Now Caroline Stanley is up. 170 pounds on the barbell for her. 77 kilos. Oh, man. What a good speed there. First of two attempts here. And we will move to Sydney Wells. 160 pounds on the barbell. 72 kilos for Sydney, and that is good. Moves us to Bailey Rail with 160 pounds as well. 72 kilos for Bailey Rail, and that is good. Rebecca Vinison at 170. That's 77 kilos on the barbell. Oh, wow. Nice speed on that one. Timing 
Ring is presented by G-Shock, the official watch of the Noble Cross. Here's Olivia Kirsten at a 187. That is good. Strong girl. Now that's about 14 pounds off of Olivia's one rep max. Let's talk a little bit about these one rep, one rep max differentials. Colin Brander, 201, back there on platform number 14. Bottom left side of your corner, not to take away from Shelby Deal, but I think that might be darn near close to her max, considering all this work that they've done leading up to this test number nine. Those are great tests and great numbers, considering everything else that they've done. Absolutely amazing. Here's Sarah Kaya. Up, 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 up. And she was at 175. But Sarah Kaya right now, 19th place overall, trying to be the top finishing athlete out of Asia in the history of the CrossFit Games. Currently on the right side of the cut line. So Kelly Baker up at 182. And she's going to miss that. First miss that we have seen. She can still make another attempt as long as the barbell is off the ground inside of the 20 second window. It will count. Damn. And Baker can't hit that. Has time for one more shot here. It just has to be off the ground. Oh, oh, and she oh, did a good job. Whoa. Here's Elisa Fuliano now at 180. And that will count. Paige Semenza will be up next. He has 172 pounds of the barbell. Good for Paige. Strong arms. And we will close out round number one with Paige Powers. 185. 84 kilos. Whoa, nice lift. Nicely done. Every woman successful on her opening lift here. Now, Alexia Williams' first attempt was about 26 pounds off of her one rep max. Successful at 175. Here's 187 pounds for Alexia Williams, and oh. we'll lose it behind her. Come on, punch up on that barbell. Don't catch it, punch it. Unable to get it, so Alexia Williams will settle with 175. Now, Christine Kohlenbrander going for 211. So, yeah, nice one. That might have been a PR, Sean. I'm not really sure. That Hitting 201 awesome. may have been a tie for that. But that looked beautiful. 96 kilo lift. Now, here's Abigail Dorman at 206. She was 15 pounds off of her one rep match. 96 in attempt number one. 93 kilos, 196 pounds for Abigail Dolman. Punch, punch, punch. Not able to make it. Takes it to Amanda Barnard. 207. Oh, nice. Kilos, and that is good for Amanda nice. Barnard. And Whoa. she needs that. Barnard Look at that. 27th job. place overall. Whoa. So she has really got to score some points here to survive the final cut. Carolyn Stanley up next at 180 pounds, 82 kilos. And that is good. It's one of those things, given the amount of time that you had to rest, about four minutes, a little over four minutes between each of these attempts. But yet gaming the field and figuring out how much more do I need to add? How much do I need to take off? I just gotta get this lift. There's so much pressure. 170 is good for Sydney Wells. 77 kilos for her. So two successful lifts. Three, two, one, lift. Bailey Rail is up next. Bailey Rail. Also 77 kilos for Bailey Rail. Now we move to Rebecca Vinison on platform number eight. She has 185 pounds on the barbell. 84 kilos. Coach Bailey, you like the speed of her first attempt here? I do. I like the way all the, the technique on everybody here right now is, look at that. Look at that speed. Speed through the middle. 
Every one of these athletes' techniques is so much better than it was 5, 10, 15 years ago. Beautiful now, lifting. Olivia Kerstetter at 197 pounds. That's 89 kilos for the 17-year-old, and that is good. Nicely done. I'm going to adopt her. <laughs> and it might not be a one rep max, but she is well within 90% of her one rep max. She just ran a 5K this morning. <laughs> That brings us to Shelby Neal at 191 pounds, 86 kilos. Come on, keep it close. This is an over punch, don't swing it. Second attempt for the old one. Not able to get it. Sarah Kaya now. Will be next. 185, 84 kilos for her. Come on, you drive it, keep it close. I won't get that shot to sell for 175. And we move to Kelly Baker at 191. And Baker has it. Wow. Are you kidding me? Three misses on her first attempt. Goes up and wait. Why not? And then nails. She figured that it second out. second attempt. It's about 87 wow. kilos, and now we go to Lisa Fuliano at 187 pounds. That's about 85 kilos for her, her second and final attempt. Oh, that's that's good. a nice look right there. That's beautiful. That looks like she would have more in the tank there. Oh, really, a lot more in the tank. But that was great technique. Milk to snatch it, swing with the manager. One now Paige Smith's at 183, 83 kilos here, so miss that. He's already hit 172. Finish. Get up, finish. Keep it close. Stay oh, so can't make that. So 172 will be her score here. And now Paige Powers will go to 197, 89 kilos. Come on, Paige. Test number nine. Oh, Paige almost had it. Now we go to the clean and jerk. The 225 on the bar here for Alexia Williams. That's 102 kilos for her. Ten seconds. And she will make it. Christine Kohlenbrand are up next. She's going to open at 236. She currently has a total of 211 after the snatch. This is 107 kilos for her. And remember, they must, they got to nail these clean and jerks. Now we're going to Abigail Gilman at 230 pounds. Stay with it, stay with it. 104 kilos for her. And now we go to Amanda Barnhart, who's going to 237. Get out, get out. 108 kilos for Barnhart, and that is good. Those legs are tired, Coach B. So what's something else that they can emphasize to get that speed and power up the bar? Now, I think it's called breathing and bracing. You have to keep that core. So a lot of these athletes, you'll see them breathe and dip at the same time and then try to drive it up. So I ask my athletes to get a tempo going. Breathe, brace, dip, drive. That kind of tempo. And that solidifies that nice core so I can get a better drive on the legs. There's Sydney Wells at 220 pounds. Almost 100 kilos here. That's that is good for Sydney. Christine Kohlenbrander has our top total right now of 447 pounds as we go to Bailey Rail at 200 pounds, it's 90 kilos. And that's a good lift for Bailey Rail. Becca Vittison is up next at 225. Yo. 
Oh, look at that drive. That was awesome. Drive, punch of the body down. That was unbelievable. Olivia Kersetter has 227 pounds, 103 kilos on the barbell now. Again, Christine Cohen, Ben, copy of screen, has the best total we've seen oh. yet. Going 447. She's your leader. One spot out from that top 20 cut, Sean, that we'll see later tonight. You know, the thing about our youngest competitor, Olivia, there on platform number seven, is it's kind of a maturity check, right? She's the youngest in the field. How can she respond under pressure? And this is a pressure situation. You gotta nail these two attempts. For Shelby Neal at 232. That young lady built like a runner, a long distance runner. I want to take her home with me to make her a way better. 232, 105 kilos, good for Shelby Neal. Here's a Sarah Kaya at 210. That's 95 kilos for her. This is her first attempt as we close out the opening round of the Queen and Jerk here. These women just did 90 box jumps. They just sat in a row or and pulled and rode with their legs. This is 100 kilos for Kelly Baker. Oh boy, nice and that was good for her. Juliana's going to drop down one pound to 221 from the little we just saw Baker hit. This is her opening attempt. What's so impressive about Alicia is she's one of the smallest athletes on the field. She is a tiny, monstrous little machine. And proving to be so strong. Look at that. Proving to be quick and powerful. Look at that. Now Paige Semenza at 217. 98 kilos for her. Good job. Nice to And now Paige powers to close things out here. 225, 102 kilos for her. That is good. This is the last attempt here. How many more pounds do I need to add or take off this bar in some situations in order to make that top 20 cut? Colin Brander, Colin Brander right now in the lead with 236. Alexia Williams. 235 will count. That's 106 kilos for her. Now Colin Brander has 251 on the barbell. That's 114 kilos. She misses her first attempt. She is our leader right now at 447 pounds. Come on, Come on get the elbows around. And Colin Brander not able to hold it, so she's going to have to settle for 447 for her final total. That's about 203 kilos. Now Abigail Dolan. 242. Go, go, come on. Not it's about 110 kilos. You're tired. Um, trying to make a second attempt, but it wasn't going to happen. Now, Amanda Barlow is at 257. This is 116 kilos for her. And that would have given her the lead. But you're talking about the dip in the drive, and that, that requires not only that core strength, but those legs. You got to have the dead right now. Barnhart made one more run at it. You can see on the right side of the screen. The 240 here for Carolyn Stanley. Almost 109 kilos, and that was good. That was a nice run right there. Two, one, Brings us to Sydney one, Wells. 230 pounds for her Sydney second Wells. and final attempt. 104 kilos. Looking to add to her 390 total. Go, Sid. Not bad. Good lift. Bailey Rail jumping up to 210. Oh. And she will make it. Nice lift there. Edward Green with a nice jerk. She made it. Yeah, exactly. Here's Rebecca Vinnison, 235, 106 kilos.
Wins the tournament in eighth place in this heat. I really like this girl. She's really got it. Nicely done. She's got a great total there. 410 pounds already. So 237 now for Olivia Thurston. This is 107 kilos. And that is good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now you see why I want to adopt her. <laughs> So Olivia Kerr now will move up into third here in the heat as we move to Shelby Neal at 240. 109 kilos here for Shelby Neal. Final oh. attempt. Power. Oh. That is good for Neal. Beautiful run. Very nice. Sarah Kaya at 225. Able to fight through that. Not able to complete the jerk, and she's going to run out of time. Now we go to Kelly Baker. 236 pounds, 107 kilos. And that is good for Kelly Baker. Very nice. Here's Elisa Fuliano at 235. 106 kilos. That is good. A smaller total at 408 pounds, but nailed both of those two clean and jerks attempt, and that will definitely help her score in the end. Here's Paige Cementa, 227, 103 kilos, and that. Good on the clean and the jerk with Cal. Good job. And now Paige Powers will close us out. 241 pounds on the barbell, 109 kilos for Powers. Go. Go. Christine Kohlenbrander, who despite missing her second attempt, is going to have the top score going into the second and final heat. A total of 447 pounds. Let's take one more look at Kelly Baker. Despite missing three attempts, on her first snatch. She came in in 23rd place overall. She's 25 points out of that 20th spot that she needs to get to to survive the cut. And Christy Kohlenbrander has the top total, 447 pounds. Now here's Kelly Baker at 191 on the snatch. Baker's going to wind up in fourth place in that heat with a total of 427. Nice. One heat down, one heat remains. Coach B, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Always a pleasure watching weightlifting with you, my friend. Have a good time here. Yeah, thank you guys very much. We'll be back with the final heat for the women next.
The heavy barbells are finally out here on the Coliseum floor at the Alliant Energy Center as we are in the middle of test number nine. Second and final heat for the women here as they close out their third day of competition at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. I'm Sean Woodley with Stacey Jovar. We have Nikki Brazier down on the competition floor and our overall leader coming into this test is Emma Lawson and she has been impressive so far. All top Lawson 15 is finishes. Actually, as she's as the Noble CrossFit Games have gone on, she's improved, Sean. And Lawson had a tremendous performance in Test Eight to get her second win of the competition, and she has a 653 point total on top of the overall standing. She's 37 points up on Ariel Lowen, who moves into second. Alexis Raptus rounds out the podium spots, and Laura Horvath is just 21 points back of Raptus. Test nine is the Olympic total, and you only get two attempts. For total weight, two attempts at a max snatch, two attempts at a max clean and jerk. Recipe for success here, presented by Trifecta. Snatch what you can, clean and jerk what you absolutely must, Sean. Let's send it down to Nikki Brazier on the competition floor. Well, we saw two very different strategies from the women eat in heat one. Some women were looking around the competition floor, changing their plates out based off of what their competitors were lifting. And some women, specifically those in the front row, were eyes forward the entire time, never even turned around to see what the other competitors were lifting. So it will be very interesting to see what these top 15 women decide in terms of strategy. There are 15 women here on the competition floor. Laura Horvath will be lifting on platform number four. She's trying to work her way back inside the top three. And this is a great opportunity for her to do that as she looks to regain the leader's jersey. Karin Freova will get us started here in round Stay number up. one of the snatch. The barbell has to go from the ground directly overhead in one movement. You cannot pause at the shoulders, and she's going to open up at 195 pounds. Now we move to Emma Carey, 187 pounds on the barbell for Emma. Lift. Women in the previous heat were roughly about 20, 25 pounds off of their reported one rep max snatch. Carrie is good at 187. Takes us to Emma Tall, who's going to open up at 176 pounds. She will make it. Good lift for Emma Tall. Daniel Brandon up next. Brandon coming into 12th place overall, trying to get herself into the top 10 here. And she will open at 175 pounds. She can make another attempt in this 20 second window. As long as the ball ball is off the ground, before time is called, the lift will count. And she will make it. Andy Thoris on the right side of the screen now at 180 pounds, the former two-time fittest woman on earth. Good at 180 pounds. 31 pounds off her reported one rep, one rep max, Sean. From one former two-time champ to another, Katrin Davis' daughter. Davis' daughter. At 175. Even having a one rep max here in test number nine, all the work that they've done leading up to this point. They just did 90 box jump overs in the previous test. Here's Bethany Flores as we now get into the athletes in the top 10 of the overall stand. She is good with her opening lift. 156 pounds. Here's Emily Rolf, who won the 5K earlier this morning. 165 pounds on the barbell for Emily. A lot of these women following suit right after heat one. 
25, 35 uh, pounds off their one rep max. Jamie Simmons, who stood on the podium here at the CrossFit Games in 2019. Third place, 160 pounds on the brow barbell for her opening attempt. Gabby Magawa, sixth place overall, coming in with 509 points. 34 back of Alex Kazan in fifth place, over the lift at 175. So the advantage to going first is kind of knowing, all right, what is the other field hitting right now? What do I need to add or take off from my bar? Here's Alex Gazan. She has 168 pounds on the barbell. And that is good for her. That's a great lift for Alex Gazan. Semifinals, I think she hit 175. Oh, hold on now. At 190 pounds, this will be the second heaviest lift that we have seen so far to Freya. It's 195, and that is no problem. She loves to move heavy things. Now Alexis Raptus, who has led this competition, now sits in third place overall, 177 to open up. That will count for Alexis. Ariel Lowen, second place overall, opens up at 181. And that will count. Emma Lawson, our overall leader, to close things out here in round one, 185 to start. And Lawson does a nice job of saving that. Six pounds off of her reported one rep max. Karin Freova is going to go up 11 pounds to 206. The top lifts and top totals will be lift, listed at the top of your screen on scoring. Line. And she is two for two. And that's exactly what the rest of these athletes in the field are looking at. They're going to keep their eye on the total down there in the right the bottom side of your screen. They got to do a little math in their head. Figure out, all right, do I got to add weight? Do I got to take some off? 195, good for Emma Carey. 195 for Emma Carey. That will move her into second place here in the second and final heat as we go to Emma Tall at 186. Ten pound jump for her here. Emma Tall going for 186 pounds. That is good. Patient with the pole. Her extension underneath that barbell was just a triple extension. Danielle Brandon adds 12 pounds. Moves up to 187 for her second and final lift. And that is good. And that's the thing you see. These athletes had to wait a little bit to get out onto the floor. And so that first attempt is a little bit rocky. And you can see the confidence and the momentum build after you hit that. Might actually look a little bit better too. There's Annie Thorosteller, 190 to tie her little hold up, and Thorosteller unable to make that. Annie attempt to another attempt. We all know Annie can hit over a 200 pound snatch. We've seen that last year at the 2022 Noble CrossFit Games. And a great save for Annie Thorosteller. 190. David's daughter is going to make her second lift. I believe that was 180 for David's daughter. We'll wait for the official for 186 for David's daughter. So now to Bethany Flores, up to 166. Now Bethany has battled some back problems throughout the season. So this is a little bit of damage control for her. Now Emily Rolf is gonna go to 171. Comes in the eighth place overall. Oh, 
has time to make it any attempt. The ball that just has to be off the ground before time is called. Jamie Simmons at 175. Keep an eye on that. Gabby Magawa, now at 191. That's the triple extension I was talking about. Toes, hips, shoulders Three, shrugged. Two, one straight bar pad, one, everything nice lift. and tall. Alex Gazan at 178. Keep an eye on Jamie Simmons. She waved off some medical help, said she's okay. So that's good for her as Gazan now has to make a second, second attempt at 178. This will be huge for Gazan, who has normally got a smaller Three, snatch on two, this field of athletes. More about that. 205 is no problem. That will put her in second place. We've seen one other athlete, Sean, Christine Kohlenblander in heat number one, put up a score over 200 pounds. Alexis Raptus at 187. Third place overall. Only 14 points back at Ariel Lowen for second. So you need to get anxious, but you want to slow your pull. You want to make contact at the hip, the most powerful joint of our body. Raptus has it. And get speed under the bar. There's Ariel Lowen, 191. It is good. And now Emma Lawson to close out the snatch portion of this test, going to 193. And that is good for the overall leader. Karine Freyova now with a clean and jerk, where the barbell pauses at the shoulders and then is jerked overhead. Two attempts here for them and 2.30 on the barbell for Karim Freyova. And that is good. The top goal that we have seen so far was Christine Kohlenbrander at heat number one, 447 pounds. Three, two, one, lift. Here's Emma Carey, 222 pounds on the barbell. Clean and jerk, 222 pounds on the bar. And a good lift for Emma Carey. Great speed under the bar, beautiful front rack, powerful dip and drive to jerk it up overhead. Emma Tall, 236. Danielle Brandon's opening attempt at 195 pounds. No problem to Danielle Brandon. Annie Thorstein, the only woman to compete at the CrossFit Games in three different decades. Back-to-back -back champion in 2011 and 2012, 225 on the barbell for her. Now keep in mind, she snatched 195. She cleaned and jerked. Well over 225, but all the work leading up to this point. Forest Auto makes it. Making it look like ease. And to add 30 pounds on top of your bar with four minutes of rest between a, a rep. And here's Catherine Davis' daughter who started crossing in Iceland because she was inspired by what Annie Forest daughter did at 217 for her opening lift. Three, two, one, lift. Stephanie Flores up her first attempt at 181 pounds. Best totals at the top of your screen. Karen Freyova has the best one right now in the seat at 436. And Bethany's choosing to power clean versus squat clean. The legs are tired. We talked about that back injury in her previous attempt. Here's Emily Rolf. Adjust the front rack. 
to create a bigger shelf so the barbell has something to sit on, making it a lot easier to jerk up overhead. Pounds, good for Emily Rolfe. We go to Jamie Simmons, 175. That was no problem for Jamie Simmons, so the elbow looks okay. We'll just a little bit there at the end. But. There's still a lot of game left to play, so conservative choice, not a bad idea. Gabby McGowan, now at 225. McGowan known to uh, love the barbell as well. Beautiful squat clean. Takes a big breath before she punches underneath the bar. And now to Alex Kazan at 235. Alex Kazan setting up for 235. Kazan needs this after missing her second attempt on her snatch. Ten seconds. That Lighter is grip on the bar. Good for Kazan. And now we go to Laura Horvath. This will give her the overall lead if she hits it. At 245. That wider grip on the bar, Sean, creates less distance for the bar to travel up overhead. We'll see if Horvath adjusts the front rack. Keeps it right outside her shoulders. And there is a lot more in that gas tank. 245 is good. Horvath has the lead and the top total we have seen so far in this test as we go to Alexis Raft is at 217. That's the hardest part is that clean. Raft is good. If you can get the clean, chances are you can get it up overhead. Here's Ariel Lowen, 221 pounds on the barbell. Got to give a shout out to my fellow mom, mother of one. That is good. Ariel Lowen takes us to Emma Lawson, 227 pounds. Two, back with Karim Freyova, who goes up to 240 pounds. That's a four pound jump, so not going to be able to catch Orbach here. Just four pounds shy of Horvath now, but still solidly in second place as we go to Emma Carey. And you see some athletes taking a look at their coaches behind them in the crowd. It's hard enough to do a lift under pressure, let alone do some math. So they're getting a little help from their coaches there in the crowd, trying to figure out, all right, where can I strategize? Where can I play the game? Do I need to add load? Do I need to take off load? What's the very minimum work I need to do to win this test? Here's 246 for Emma Tall. Able to stand it up. Again, if you can get that squat clean, you can get the jerk. Just a strong dip, trust the leg. Not able to complete the jerk, and she doesn't have enough time. The bar just got out slightly, just a hair out too far. It needs to go straight up and down from point A to point B, shoulder to overhead. Looks like she's shaking off another attack. That brings us to Annie Thor's daughter. 25 was her first attempt. Seven pound jump. <laughs> Thor's daughter is good. As Catherine Davis daughter gets to work at 226. Thoris' daughter keeps herself in fifth place right now in this heat. As Bethany Flores is able to stand that up. And that was the first time we saw her actually get a little bit deeper on that squat clean, Sean. The final attempt here for Emily Wall for 2 12. Just imagine. 
imagine going and running at 5K, all out effort. So her best attempt. And then coming here tonight and trying to attempt a 212 pound clean and turn. Jamie Simmons at 205. That is good for Simmons. A true testament to these athletes' abilities and their overall fitness. Now Gabby Magawa at 245. Kazana 248 and on the left side of your screen you can't see it but Laura Horvath's got 265 on the barbell but we'll deal with Kazan first here. And that is good for Alice Kazan. And now Laura Horvath 265. This will tie team member Kelsey Heels lift from earlier this morning. And that total. is good for Laura Horvath. And the crowd loves it. They're on their feet here at the Alignment Energy Center. Alexis Raptus not able to stand that up. So Laura Horvath looking to pick up points on the women directly in front of her. Raptus, Lowen, and Lawson. You get points based on your performance and tests. The better you do, the more points you get. If you win, you get 100. And right now, those 100 points belong to Laura Horvath as Alexis Raptors will not get her second attempt. Here's Lauren at 231. Emma Lawson at 240 pounds. Right now, she's tied for 16th in the test, and that is good. So Lawson trying not to surrender too much ground at all. Hold on in fourth place. They can run. They can sprint. They can do gymnastics. They can lift weights. These girls are fit. But Laura Horvath is going to get the test win. It's her third of these CrossFit games. And looking to move inside the top three. Still 72 points out behind our leader, Lawson. But hey, Sean, Lawson proved that she can live too. Well, hold on. Snatch 205. That was impressive. But this may have been even better. 265 pounds. This girl just did 90 box jump overs, ran a 5K this morning. Laura Horvath at 470. Christine Kohlbrander is going to finish in second, followed by Karin Freyova. Amanda Barnhart, that's big for her because she's got to get inside the top 20 to survive the final cut. And it's Gabby Magawa rounding out the top five, two points better than 17 year old. Olivia Kerstetter and Emma Lawson with that last lift moves into the top 10 in that test, seventh place for her. Let's head that down to Nikki Brazier. Laura, we know that you love moving those heavy weights. How did you make a plan of exactly which weights to hit in this test? I practiced in training and I was confident in myself and I kid those numbers out here, so that's what I did and I executed perfectly. Absolutely. Before your last lifting attempt, I saw you sitting on your gumdrop, really laser focused. Looks like you were maybe saying a few words to yourself. What was going through your mind in those moments? Yeah, I was just trying to hype myself up and also calm myself down a little bit and just like focus on myself and not everyone else around me. And I just knew what I wanted to hit and I knew I was capable of. So I was just focusing on myself and my lifting. It can be a little difficult to focus in the Alliant Energy Center, in the Coliseum, when the crowd erupts the way that it did for you. But what kind of energy does that bring to your lift? Oh, it's amazing. Every barbell out here feels like 20 pounds lighter than anywhere else. So you guys are amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, guys. The third test win for Laura Horvath. Trying to reclaim 
the overall leader's jersey heading into the final day. The women are done. The men coming up next here in the Olympic total. Stay with us, everybody, as our coverage continues here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games.